25 LaSalle Street, location of one of our replacement sites. Ms. Kennedy was uh, unfortunately the victim of a house fire and was unable to make the repairs to her house on her own. This was not something community development has ever done before. She said she smelled smoke. I went to the backyard and saw the roof was on fire. Just left with our clothes on our back. We just didn't know what to do. We found out about it and we got lucky. We were very grateful. We looked at the home and we tried it. You know, this was our first program and, and the outcome has been truly a success. Every year we do a lottery for our owner-occupied program. Um, it, it uses HUD funds, it's called home, our home program. Homeowners who have interior and exterior quality of life issues, code violations, just dangers to the home and that household, they apply for our program. But in some cases, the repairs exceed with the limits that are set by our program, and in those cases we need to find alternative methods of, of making the repairs necessary for that, for that house. The most important thing for me was the mission of getting Miss Kennedy back home. Just the smile on her face, just knowing you're now home. She was screaming at the top of her voice like, yeah, you know, just this joy. And, you know, she was like, I can't believe it. She kept saying, I can't believe it. We're back. We're finally back. I'm very grateful that everything would put be better than, than before. I was here when she was able to get in, roll into her beautiful home. She was like, I'm home. And, and to me, that gives me chills, and that was a blessing just to see her home and being able to, to live to see that day. My name is Olivia Johnson. I live at 7732 Mistletoe Street in Metairie, Louisiana. I would like to thank Jefferson Parish and Community Development for helping me to get back into my house. Community Development is here to help in any way we can. Thank God and I thank each and every one for building this home for me. I am so happy now. Without them, I would have nowhere to live. This home, we came out at the living conditions here was very, very deplorable. It was due to insurance and right after Hurricane Katrina. Miss Olivia and her son, they continued to live in the home. The roof had caved in. They were on a fixed income, so they didn't know there were opportunities in the parish that can help them get back in their home. When we had the storm, they began to rain and the roof began to almost decay. So I had to get out of here. Once Cole deemed that ineligible to live in, we were able to find sustainable housing for her and her son to live in while we go through the process of getting the home qualified so it can go through the owner occupy rehab program to replace the property. I love the way my bathroom is fixed where I can also get in there and take a shower. And also, I love my kitchen. Ms. Johnson is happy to be home. I was very excited to watch Ms. Johnson roll through that door and come home and watch her get in that bed that, that she's always wanted and that bathroom and this was a true success story for Ms. Johnson. Of all places, of all things, I enjoy my porch because I enjoy coming out here, sitting out here every day and every evening and enjoying it. And if I have to come out here and I drink a cup of coffee out here and just watch everybody go by and wave and shake hands with them and say good evening, good morning, how you doing? And I really and truly enjoyed that. 